Hi, this is Hotchkiss Games. Welcome back to Eco. Last time we spent pretty well our entire episode in this room, so I'm very glad to get out of there. And now we're back in the sun, which is pretty sweet. We've got some bombs. I'm holding Kelly's hand. And we've got some... Uh, well, we, we got nothing over here. <laughs> we're already starting off with enemies. Ugh, say la vie. Now, I do think I'm getting better at uh, dealing with these guys. I don't seem to get knocked down as much, even though, as I say that, I did just get knocked down. Oh, and he's taking Kelly somewhere. Piss. How the piss do I get down there? Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Wow, she is far away. How do I get down there? Doom, 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 doom. This is the danger zone. Oh, piss, she died. Literally, how was I supposed to save her? She was so far away, and Peanut can't run worth crap. Okay. Wow. This game is so freaking unforgiving about save points. There should be checkpoints. Alright, I'll meet you guys back where we were. Now, I've decided to speed up the footage here because literally this next fight took me at least 10 minutes to beat on film. Now, it didn't help that I died about 3 or 4 times. But my goodness, this is something that, this is the first le legitimate thing that I have disliked about Ego. Now, right here, I tried leaving Kelly in the room to see if I could beat them first. The enemies won't even spawn unless Kelly's outside. Kinda sucks. But honestly, to have a fight like this in a game that I considered maybe a platforming game, but at least just a puzzle game, and then to have a 10 minute fight like this is just nuts. I realized I could fall right there, and I thought, okay, now I can actually get to it before the, uh, I don't know, I don't even know what it is, like the dark energy wave hits me and I die. But, I mean, these guys are just brutal. And I'm doing pretty well here, and I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at combat in the game. But honestly, I I need a better weapon than a stick. When am I going to get a sword? When am I going to get anything, honestly? Just anything better than this freaking stick? Because it takes at least five or six hits on every single guy to kill him. And in this fight alone, there's at least like eight to ten guys, if not more. I finally managed to get over there and save her, but... These guys, it's actually pretty funny. These guys just kind of take her back and forth between that point and that point. So they never take her very far. And I did realize, thankfully, that I thought before this you had to actually hold on to Kelly and pull her out of the hole. But I soon realized that if there's enemies around, all I have to do is just start that animation. And then if I let go and keep fighting, as long as I've pulled her out a little bit, then Kelly can pull herself out the rest of the way. That's pretty neat. Actually, really funny right here, too. I thought uh, this was the last guy. But then another guy shows up, and I think another guy shows up after this. The portal's still there, so I'm like, who's there? Two more guys show up again. This fight is just ridiculous, and I'm a little bit afraid that the entire game is going to have these long, extended fights that are just honestly really, really boring. If I didn't speed this up, this would legitimately be a 30-minute video of nothing but me whacking these guys with my stick. And honestly, no one wants to watch that. And so I think in the future, I will either do something similar to this, or I will just skip them, knowing that this is very, very boring. I really hope that at the end of those guys, I don't really know. There are these little electric things that she can control, so let's just get here and hope that we can move on from this area. I really hope that's the end of the battle. Whew. Oh, hey, she ran ahead of us. That's never happened before. Is this like the end of the dungeon? Look, the gate is open. Now we can get out of here. Oh no. Now it's closing. Oh, there's sugar. They're trying to make it though. 
They're definitely not gonna make this, though. Kelly, you ruin everything. The piss is that? Oh. Ah, uh, those are uh, those are some shapes. Okay. So you're the one aimlessly leading my Yorda around. Oh, now there's a real name for her. Do you know who this girl is? That girl you're with is my one and only beloved daughter. Stop wasting your time with her. She lives in a different world than some boy with horns. <laughs> he got really offended by that. Now, know your place and leave here. Are you okay? Um, squiggly, octopus, sail. <laughs> okay, waves, an arrow, sail, a spider, a duck, a moon, an eye, a person. <laughs> and now we know our companion's real name. Her name is Yorda. And while I did enjoy calling her Kelly, um, now that we know her real name, we we might as well go with that. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Can you do something to these gates? No? No? Okay. I do like the fact that we're getting a little bit more story, and so we, we just met Yorda's mother, apparently. It looks like some kind of evil person. Let's take a spot on this couch. Let's let's save our game, Yorda. All right. Wait, <laughs> where are you going, Yorda? Killing the moment, aren't you? Just want to sit on this couch with you, Peanut and Yorda, together again, or always together. Where? Seriously, where are you going, Yorda? Okay, that was weird. Oh, she's she's not done yet. Um. So I wanted to just let her go for a couple minutes and see what she was doing, and yeah, she's just kind of running back and forth between these different pillars. And this is really the only the second time in this game I can think of where Yorda has kind of done something on her own without needing to be dragged along. She wants me to look at these things. Maybe I'm supposed to pull them? Okay. Well, let's do this. Thanks for uh, running around like a crazy person, Yorda, to, I don't know, get my attention to these things. I guess I wouldn't really have thought to move them unless he was spazzing out all around them. Has that, has that done anything? I don't know. Is there another one over here? Oh, there's more. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, I was excited that there was a little bit more story in the last episode. I'm hoping that, as we progress, we'll start to figure out more things. I would really like to learn what Peanut's real name is, but at the same time, it would be pretty sad if we couldn't call him Peanut anymore, right? The torches are lit! Rohan Cosvade! What did, what did that do? Does that mean the gate's open now? Come on, Yorda. Let's go. We have doves flying around us. It's kind of nice. Yorda, can you do something to this gate? No, still nothing. Well, okay. I'll keep exploring this little courtyard then. Hoping that something will pop out to me and give me an idea of what we can freaking do right now. The gate won't open, but the torches are lit. I don't know what lit torches does for us. Um, maybe we're supposed to go back. Maybe there's something we can do back here to open the freaking gates. I'm 
Really hope the smoggy guys don't come back. Really tired of dealing with those fuckers. You've earned a trophy failure. Failure? What is... I need to look at what this is. <laughs> Finish watching the demo scene, confronting the queen at the front gate. Alright, so I was supposed to do that. Armed and ready, acquire sword. I am going to eventually get a sword. That makes me happy. Because I am tired of this freaking stick. Giving me a, an achievement from walking back from the courtyard to here makes me feel like this is the way I was supposed to go. So that's nice. I guess I'll just keep going up this way. And I don't know how much they want me to backtrack. Maybe I'm supposed to blow up the gate? <laughs> I can hold a bomb and grab Yorda's hand. Walking like a thug as to do it all. Okay. I don't know if this is really what I'm supposed to do. I don't know if one single bomb can blow up that gate. But at the same time, I mean, the torches are lit in the courtyard. And I have bombs right here, so let's, let's check it out. Alright, we are back in the courtyard. I'm gonna stop holding her hand because I can go a little bit faster. And I'm gonna hope that I can jump with the bomb and then bring the bomb to the gate and it will just nicely explode and everyone will be happy and we can get the heck out of here. Jump, jump, jump. Nope. Holy crap, you can throw those things. Where did that go? <laughs> Um, so that was not what I was supposed to do. Okay, cutting back to where I was. Oh, she wants me to bomb that thing. Man, Yorda is super smart. I need, I need this to light. I need, I need this, I need you to light this thing. Okay. Holy shit. I think I just killed Yorda. Yorda? Sorry about that. If you want me to bomb that, you really shouldn't stand right next to it. Come on. Let's try that again. I am a little, I am a little nervous about these because they seem to have really short fuses. But at the same time, like, it exploded in my arms last time. Last time we needed a bomb and I wasn't hurt. I didn't die. And so I think it's okay. I need you to freaking light, freaking light the fuse. How does this freaking work? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna leave a bomb there and then throw a bomb at that bomb. Let's give it a shot. Light the. Fr this is the hardest part of this game. Lighting the freaking fuse on these bombs. Throw it. <laughs> it didn't even touch the other bomb. I just had terrible aim for like the last five minutes. Where's where where are you going, Yorda? Ugh. Oh, that was glitchy. Okay, we are in a very expansive courtyard now. I'm really hoping that Yorda's mom comes back and gives us a little bit more storyline. Hey, there's a couch! Man, do I love couches. Sit down, Yorda. Let's save. Alright. Let's get going. I'm standing on the tombstone. Oh, piss. I am so glad they gave us a couch right there, because I do not want to fail this and have to restart from some faraway point. Admittedly, I am getting better at these. I think so, anyways. 
But I really want to find a freaking sword. Get me a sword, game. I think I've earned it. Once again, I'm going to speed up through this fight because it's really just me mashing on these guys for about two minutes. Now, I want to put your attention to the little spidery guys. I don't really know what they do because they never seem to grab Yorda. They don't actually seem to ever attack Peanut, or maybe I just don't give them the chance to. But I really don't understand why they're there because I think, I mean, the little black portals will stay there until every enemy is gone. So I would assume you have to kill the spider guys even if all the larger guys that can actually get Yorda are dead. Food for thought. And hey! All the smoke is gone. Let's go save again, Yorda! Alright, come on, Yorda. Let's go frolic through the graveyard. Do 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 It's such a magical date that we're on. We're dancing over graves. We're making like we're paid. We're gonna get home safe. You're Yoda and I'm Peanut. We're such a great team. All right, let's move this box. Don't don't get on top of the box. I'm moving it. I don't know where I need to take it to. Probably over there. My name is Peanut, yeah, I'm a striking dude. I can move boxes when I'm holding a stick. Wish I had a sword, I wish I had a sword. Did that do anything? Is there another one on this side? There is. Okay. Where's the other box? Where's the other box? Is this a door? Yorda, can you do something about this? Okay. Stay there, Yorda. I need to find the second box. Second box. Second box. Can I just stand here? Yes. So th if there is not a second box, I'm just going to have Yorda stand on that. I don't really know if I could even get a box if it was up here. But what's down this dark, gloomy passage? Nothing. Okay, Yorda, where are you? I need you to stand on something. Whoa! I'm dangerous. Come here. All I need you to do, little girl, is just stand right here on this little spot. And then I'm gonna go up, and uh, I'm gonna go through this room. Okay, now have fun. See you later. Okay. Oh, goodness. Where am I? Can I call to Yorda? Yorda! Oh, there's a ladder right there. Maybe I should have done that. Oh, piss. I need Yorda to get into this room again. Okay. Jump. Can you, can you get up there? Nope. But there's a ladder. Okay, we're good. Maybe I can get a box from this room, and then, like, make it go out there. I don't know. There's a chain. And that I, I need to use. Tricky camera work. <laughs> oh, never mind. The chain's just, like, literally right on top. Okay, twirl, twirl. Stop twirling. There we go. Oh, hey. This may actually be what I was supposed to do, because there's probably a box up here. <laughs> Oh shit, Yoda's in trouble. I hate when that noise happens. Go, 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 go! Yes, here's a box. Drop the box. And Yoda's in another one of those death portals. <laughs> I thought I died right there. That would have sucked. Yorda, get up. And we are in another sped up battle. These guys are getting to be quite a friggin' nuisance. I really hope this game strays away from these guys pretty soon and either introduces a new enemy, which is more interesting to fight, or otherwise just dispenses with the enemies and lets me play the puzzle game that I had come to expect from the first couple episodes. The great thing about these is that I think they're all done, and then another guy pops up and it's like, oh my goodness, this is going to take another two minutes. Okay, and now they're going away. That's good. Um, where'd our box go? Here it is. We worked hard for this box. Yes, we did. 
And boom. Nope. Okay, we went too far. Piss, 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 piss. <laughs> I thought I was gonna like lock in place, but I actually have to like stop it where I think it should go. And then it falls. Cool. Well, guys, this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for tuning in to Hotchkiss Gaming. Next time, we will go through that door, which we've already seen inside of. And hopefully, um, I don't know, help Yora resolve her mother issues, which she clearly has. Let's go save. See you guys next time.